in Perl you can put strings into single quotes as well, not only double quotes as we saw earlier. So if you put two single quotes and between with regular characters, that will be just a regular string. It doesn't matter in this case if you put single quotes or double quotes. But if you put some special character, for example backslash n, which is new line within double quotes, but if you put them in within single quotes, it's just a regular backslash and n. So if you print this out, you will get a backslash n. The same with interpolation. You go don't have interpolation in single quotes. So if you put a dollar name, it will be just a space dollar name. It won't embed the value of this variable if you put it in within single quotes. And within single quotes, you can freely put double quotes. You don't have to escape them. Of course, you can't put single quotes inside single quotes because then Perl wouldn't understand that this is just a part of the string. You will have to escape them with backslash. Just as in the double quote case, you had to escape the double quotes. But here too, in order to avoid all these nasty backslashes here, Perl allows you to use the Q, the single Q operator, putting parentheses around after it. And then within that parentheses, the whole string acts as if it was in single quote, except that now single quotes are just regular characters. So if you have a string that you would like to have both double quotes and single quotes, you can have them and pay, pay attention. This backslash n is just a backslash n because we are in single quotes. Q1, one, one Q means just single quote.